Their ferocity and force have claimed lives, livelihoods and homes. A huge wildfire raging in Argentina has destroyed farmland and wildlife, leaving locals in shock. It's never happened before. We've never lived with something like this. We're really overwhelmed. This is the aftermath of a blaze in Australia in 2013. Amy Hubbard's family lived in between two wildfire sites and her mum narrowly escaped one of them. She ran to the car barefoot with the animals in her hands and that's all she took. She got them in the car and she said, I don't know how I did it, but there was just fire everywhere and I was just driving through flames and smoke. Wildfires are posing an increasing danger to people around the world, from California to Greece to Turkey and even closer to home. It took hundreds of firefighters three weeks to put out a wildfire near Saddleworth Moor in the summer of 2018. Today, a warning that extreme wildfires will increase by 50% by the end of this century, according to the UN Environment Programme. Like with all impacts of climate change, this is coming closer, even to temperate zones uh, and even to ecosystems that we don't normally see burn so much, wetlands even, uh, and peatlands, which there are also a fair amount of in the UK. The study calls for governments to reallocate funding from fighting fires to preventing them. That's something Amy wishes her family could have benefited from. For many people, it was quite a difficult situation over the next couple of years. And um, for our family, it did very much break our family apart. So the message from scientists is clear. A radical change is needed to stop wildfires in their tracks. Bhavani Vadi, Five News.